Until now, evidence about the origin of human beings has always been fascinating to researchers. The famous British biologist, Thomas Henry Huxley, once said, what we know is finite, what we don't know is infinite. Along with the development of scientific research, there have been many studies on the origin of the human species. Humans are the only animals that are often concerned with the past. Since we have consciousness, we have been aware that humans have a past and desire to understand their origins. We always ask questions like, where did humans come from? Who are we? Where did we come from? Why does the appearance of humans coincide with the emergence of religious civilizations? There are many explanations for how humans appeared on Earth. In Greek mythology, humans were created by Prometheus. In Jewish mythology, Jehovah created humans. In ancient Eastern mythology, Nuwa created humans. Religious believers believe that humans were created by a higher power. It can be seen that the stories explaining the origin of humanity all share one characteristic, which is that humans were created by powerful beings. One day, Nuwa was walking on a deserted and quiet earth, feeling very lonely. She felt that adding something would make the world more vibrant. Nuwa saw that the intelligence of the animals still did not satisfy her. She needed to create a more exceptional creature than any other living being. Nuwa flew along the Yellow River, and when she saw her beautiful reflection, she became delighted. She decided to mold a clay figure from the riverbed in her own image. Nuwa breathed divine energy into these small clay figures, which were imbued with life and became creatures that could move, speak, think, and create. Nuwa called them humans, and she wanted them to be distributed everywhere on Earth, but she was tired, so she came up with a quick way. She took a straw rope and dropped it to the bottom of a lake, then stirred up the mud until the rope was covered in mud. She then flung the mud everywhere, and the clumps of mud turned into small people. Nuwa had now created humans, and they began to multiply and spread across the earth. Later, Nuwa had another idea. How can we make humans live well? Therefore, she paired men and women together, taught them how to have children, and take responsibility for nurturing future generations. These stories create a rich and diverse origin story for humanity, closely linked to religious and cultural traditions. The origin of humanity has always been the most important topic. And beliefs associated with religious culture have given us new and different perspectives on the same aspect. The issues surrounding the origin of humanity have been and will continue to be explained depending on the level of cultural and intellectual development of each community. What religion do you follow? In your religion, who created humans? Please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow interesting and exciting stories. The Earth is said to be the center of the universe, and humans are honored to be the center of the Earth. Why were humans given such a privilege by the gods? It was because they wanted to create a special creature, a creature like themselves. Before that, no creature in the universe had ever existed with the shape of a god. The Bible says that Jehovah created the earth and all things in 24 days. On Friday, God said, let us make man in our image. Then, the first man was created and he was named Adam. Adam means mud in Hebrew. God also created a garden called Eden and placed Adam there allowing him to eat all the fruits in the garden except for the forbidden fruit. Seeing that Adam was lonely in the Garden of Eden, God took one of his ribs and created a woman named Eve. In addition, God also created birds and animals. What have we learned from the beauty and order evident in God's creations? Do we appreciate these works of art? I think everyone will be amazed by the complexity of human cells, the cuteness of newborn babies, or the magnificent beauty of a sunset. We are in awe of these creations because we have been given the ability to appreciate beauty. Which is the beauty of European mythology. According to Greek mythology, on Mount Olympus when the earth was still in chaos and darkness. The brothers Prometheus and Epimetheus were given the task by the god Zeus to govern the earth and create humans. In Greek mythology, Prometheus means, foreseeing. The two brothers, Prometheus and Epimetheus, mixed water with clay to create the various species of creatures. While Epimetheus created numerous creatures, Prometheus was not satisfied with his first creation. He wanted to create an extraordinary creature that could hold the earth. After 12 days and nights, Prometheus finally completed his masterpiece. 
He created humans in the image of the gods and thought, I will give this creature a talent to surpass all others. He gave humans some divine qualities to make them permanently different from animals. To grant humans a special privilege, Prometheus stole fire from Zeus and brought it to the mortal world, which lit up and warmed the world, allowing humans to develop. Zeus then ordered the gods to create Pandora, the first woman. Athena, the goddess of craftsmanship, gave Pandora life and skill in weaving and other crafts. Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love, gave Pandora a beautiful face. Each god contributed something to Pandora's characteristics. Prometheus played an important role in the early history of mankind. According to Greek mythology, it was he who created man. Thank you for watching the video. If there is any mistake, please forgive me. Hello and see you in the next videos.